Jesus warned, hypocrisy is using Christianity, particularly prayer, as a tool for self-promotion to appear spiritual in the eyes of others. This powerful statement reminds us to examine our true motivations. Prayer is a cornerstone of Christian life, a sacred moment of direct communion with God. Among all prayers, the Lord's Prayer stands out as the perfect model taught by Jesus himself. Yet, even in something so vital and powerful, mistakes can be made that may compromise the effectiveness and depth of our communication with God. In today's video, we explore a vital topic for every Christian, the three critical mistakes to avoid when praying. Join us to make sure your prayers are heartfelt and truly effective. Also, subscribe now so you do not miss other videos about prayer from our channel. Prayer is the foundation of our spiritual growth, a powerful tool that helps us connect with a higher power and improves our mental and emotional well-being. But let's be real, sometimes we may not be using this tool as effectively as we could be. We get stuck in our old habits and our prayers may start to feel like a routine rather than a genuine conversation with God. Personally, I've struggled with this too, wondering if I'm doing it right, if I'm saying the right words, and if I'm even being heard. But the truth is, prayer is not about being perfect, it's about being sincere and genuine. And that's what this video is all about, identifying some common mistakes we make when praying and learning how to correct them so we can have a more effective and meaningful prayer life. So buckle up because today we're going to get real about our prayer habits and I'm excited to share with you three common mistakes we're making and how to fix them. But before we dive in, I want to encourage you to keep an open heart and mind and be willing to learn and grow from what we're about to discuss. It's easy to get defensive or stuck in our ways, but remember, prayer is a journey, not a destination. And by being open to new perspectives and ideas, we can take our prayer life to the next level. So. Take a deep breath, let's get started, and let's see what we can learn together. You're probably thinking, okay, I'm open, um, I'm willing, let's do this. And I love that attitude. But before we dive into the three mistakes, I want to remind you that prayer is a personal and intimate conversation with God. It is not about following a formula or a set of rules, but about being genuine and sincere in our approach. So as we explore these mistakes, keep in mind that it's not about beating ourselves up over what we've been doing wrong, but about learning and growing from our experiences. With that said, let's dive into the first mistake. Treating prayer like a wish list. I remember a time when I was going through a tough period and my prayers were just a list of things I wanted God to fix. I would pray, you know, God, please give me this job help me with my finances, make everything better. But nothing seemed to change. It was frustrating and disheartening. Um, this mistake is all about our mindset and approach. When we treat prayer like a wish list, we're essentially telling God what to do rather than seeking His guidance and wisdom. Uh, this approach is all about us rather than about seeking a deeper connection with God. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about in the next few paragraphs. The second mistake is using prayer as a way to avoid taking action. I once prayed fervently for a better relationship with a family member, but I never took any steps to reach out or mend the rift. I was waiting for a miracle, but I wasn't willing to put in effort myself. This mistake is all about our motivations and intentions. When we use prayer, as a way to avoid taking responsibility, we're essentially saying, God, do it for me, rather than God, guide me and give me the strength to do it myself. The third mistake is rushing through prayer. There was a period when my prayers um, became a hurried routine. I would mumble the same words every night without much thought or feeling. It was like I was checking off a box rather than having a heartfelt conversation with God. This mistake is all about our priorities and focus. When we rush through prayer, we're essentially telling God that our time is more valuable than our conversation with Him. Let's take a closer look at each of these mistakes. 
For example, when we treat prayer like a wish list, we might say something like, God, please give me this job or that relationship or this material possession. Um, but what if we changed our approach and instead prayed, God, what is your will for my life? Guide me and give me wisdom to make the right decisions. Or when we use prayer as a way to avoid taking action, we might say, God, please fix this problem for me. But what if we instead prayed, God, give me the strength and courage to take action and make a difference in this situation. You see, it's all about our mindset and approach. Let's demonstrate the correct way to pray effectively. Uh, imagine you're praying for a specific situation and instead of just asking God to fix it, you take a moment to reflect on what you can do to take action and make a difference. You pray for guidance, wisdom, and strength, and then you take those next steps. That's a much more um, effective way of praying. Here are some practical tips for enhancing your prayer life. Set a specific time for prayer each day and try to avoid distractions as much as possible. Use scripture to guide your prayers and give you inspiration. And be mindful of your thoughts and feelings, making sure you're being genuine and sincere in your approach. Now, uh, I know what you might be thinking. Okay, this all sounds great, but how do I actually do it? How do I set aside time for prayer when my life is so busy? Or what if I don't know what to say, or if I feel like I'm not doing it right? Well, let's address those concerns. First of all, start small. Begin with just a few minutes of prayer each day and gradually increase the time as you become more comfortable. And if you're struggling with what to say, try using scripture as a guide. You can also try journaling or writing down your thoughts and feelings before you pray. Let's recap the three mistakes we discussed today. Treating prayer like a wish list, using prayer as a way to avoid taking action, and rushing through prayer. By making these simple adjustments, we can take our prayer life to the next level and experience a deeper connection with God. I want to encourage you to try out the tips we shared today and see how it impacts your prayer life. Leave a comment below and share your experiences with us. Please subscribe. And if you want to learn more about prayer and spiritual growth, be sure to check out our other videos on the topic. See you in the next video.